What's going on everybody? Before I get into today's video, very exciting video by the way, I have some exciting news. The iCatch tournaments are back. For those of you guys that don't know what I'm talking about, I will talk about it right now and kind of link it all down below. For those of you guys that remember the iCatch tournaments from like, I don't know, four or five months ago, we came out of this app uh, that offered some tournaments to where you guys can win some money and compete against me in some online tournaments. Like you guys fish your local ponds, I fish my local ponds. We catch fish, we compete to win some money. Well, we launched the app and then had a ton of bugs and we had to redo everything, but now it is back and better than ever. Again, I will link all the information down below so if you guys don't want to listen to me go on a spiel for about 30 seconds, you guys can just skip to the beginning of the video. Everything will be linked down below. So this tournament in particular will be for Midwest anglers only. There's a whole bunch of states. I'm not going to list them all. I'll have them all pop up pop up, up, up right here and basically it's the top five longest fish combined win first place gets a hundred dollars second place gets seventy five dollars and third place gets fifty dollars to download the app all you have to do is text flare to seven nine seven nine seven nine or just go to the app store type in i catch i will leave it all down below before you compete in the tournament i will link a video down below on how you enter your catches it's a little bit tricky once you get the hang of it it is easy peasy lemon squeezy but for the beginning of it it is not the easiest thing in the world to do so i will link the video down below click the link down below before you compete in the tournament the tournament is this coming weekend once you've downloaded the app all you have to do is pay five dollars a month for the i catch membership this membership will get you all access to all the tournaments that i'm going to host on the i catch app in particular and and all tournaments in general. You can create tournaments with your friends, compete against your friends, compete against me, win money. It's a lot of fun. I'm going to quit talking because I know you guys just want to see me catch fish. Everything will be linked down below. Everything that you need to know about the tournament will be down below. So if you guys didn't catch anything that I'm saying because I'm talking too fast, it'll be all down below. And peace! What's going on, everybody? Today I am bass fishing. Um, as you can see, I'm dressed kind of like an Eskimo because it's freezing out here. It's like 45, 50 degrees, really foggy and rainy and misty. I'm with my dad, day two, South Dakota. I don't know how this is going to go. Yesterday was one of the best smallmouth fishing days of my life. Today could be the worst. It is very, very windy, stormy, cold, misty, just terrible <laughs> fishing conditions in general. I don't know what this does to smallmouth. I know what it does to largemouth, and it basically makes them not bite a single thing. So we're going to find out if smallmouth are like largemouth, or if they really don't care and are still going to eat. Um, yeah, we'll see. Looks like we're on an episode of Deadliest Catch out here. Plopper time. Nope. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. That's a giant. Got it. Got it. Got it. He's hooked up. He's hooked up. There we go. On the old plopper. Woo, baby. There we go. First fish. Freezing, throwing top water. That proves that point. Smallmouth don't care if it's cold. There you go. There he is. There he is. Come on. There we go. Plopper fish. Finally. That's a big one too, I think. Hands are numb, but the small mouth are eating top water, boys. Yeah, that's a decent one. I'll take them. I'll take them. Yeah, that's a good one. Come on, buddy. <laughs> Look at that plopper right there inside of his mouth. 55 degrees, misty, cold, windy, and they are still eating top water. Probably about seven, 17 inch or so. Yeah. Not a bad one. See, you, buddy. Yep. There we go. Hooked up on the drop shot. Had my phone out. I think they don't want it moving. Seriously. Every time I bring my phone out and start texting, 
I just felt a hard tick. Wow. Ate my drop shot. There we go. I switched up from the top water. Nice. Give a drop shot. Caught a fish. Yeah, that's a solid smallmouth. That's a solid smallmouth right there. It, I was just holding it. And I'm texting and I felt oh, just a hard knock. And I was like, yeah, that's a fish. They just want it sitting there. That's, that's what I figured. I, fi I think they're here. You're just catching the active ones. They're here though. Not nearly as big, but I'll take them. Here we go. Yeah, he ate the top drop shot. Yeah. Throwing the old double rig. Got the Ned rig as my drop shot weight down there. And, and then a little turd as the drop shot lure itself. Here we go, my second fish on the drop shot. Well, first fish on the drop shot, second fish total. That's only about a probably 15, 16 incher, but I'll take it. See you, buddy. Woo! We're hooked up. Here we go. Another one on the plopper. I'm sure this lens quality is terrible, but how big is he? Not very big. Smallest one so far. <laughs> That's the Look smallest that. one we've caught all trip. Ooh, baby. <laughs> oh, oh, catch and release. There we go. All right, back to fishing. There you go. That's a, a big one. That big one? Oh, man. He big one? Uh oh, here we go. Hooked up again. Another, up. another big one on the oh. plop daddy. He's a big one. Is that a big one? Oh yeah. I saw oh him gosh. After it once. <laughs> oh god. We got, wow. a, we got a tank. Here we go. Another plopper fish. We're on them now, boys. There's one. There's one. There we go. We got doubles. We got doubles. Here we go. We come to the front. Here we go. Yeah, keep yours on. We got doubles, folks. Can't tell how big mine is. We found a little bit smaller fish, but there's more of them. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Oh, he came off right there. Oh. All right, that's okay. It was there. There's another one. We just had doubles. Nice. Found a little bit smaller fish, but there's just more of them, which is fine by me. I'm totally fine with catching a whole bunch of fish. I wonder if I should put... Oh, there you go. There you go. There you go. Yeah, baby. Is that a better one? Yeah. There we go. Found a, found a little bit better one. Yeah, that's back, back to the big ones right there. Oh gosh! <laughs> tank, Woo. straight, straight, <laughs> straight tank. Ow. Here we go. Oh my gosh, Come this on. is unreal. Perfect. All right, get the release. We are smoking them, folks. Absolutely smoking them. I don't know. That's the way the direction of the wind's going. It's misting right now. My my face is getting covered by water. We are. Anchored here, throwing ploppers, windblown. Windblown points is essentially all it is. The other one was windblown, this one's windblown. Very cold, very wet, not good filming conditions, but apparently it's good fishing conditions. So anyways, good start. I'm gonna quit talking so we can catch some more fish. Yep, oh, oh got him, got him, oh, got him. Big in, way, out way out there. There we go. <laughs> yes. Oh, that's a good one. That's a good one. I'm gonna come to the front. There we go. Right at the very end. I didn't even move my plopper yet, and it ate it. And it ate it. The end of the cast. That's a freaking tank. Oh my gosh, this is fun. Get out of those weeds, dude. Get out of those weeds. There we go. Come on. Yeah, these, these smallmouth are just so crazy how hard they fight. Here we go, another plopper fish. Unreal. There you go. There you go. Big one. Get out of those weeds. Wow. Get loose, buddy. Oh, he's almost off. <laughs> It's almost off. That's a big one too. Wow, that's a good one. Belly on that fat boy. Biggin. There you go. Well, pulled a pair. Wasn't recording, but just caught that guy. See, buddy. Whoop. Rookie mistake, folks. Rookie mistake. First time making YouTube videos. For you yanging them through those weeds like that. There you go. There you go. Is it a big one? Good one. That's huge. 
There's a bit. There we go. Oh my gosh, right at the boat. Come on. He chased it all the way up. I keep trying to get doubles. <laughs> 412. Is that your PB? PB, baby. There you go. 412. Bye. Wow. Well, just broke a PB. Unfortunately, I don't know what my smallmouth PB is. I think it's about that, <laughs> about five. So if I catch an over five today, break my PB. There he is. Yeah, that's a big one. Yep. Oh, threw out the drop shot. <laughs> Cleaning up shop from what doesn't want the ploppers. Oh, look at these coming right at me. Tighten my drag a little bit. Wow, these fish are incredible. Yep, same spot. The old drop shot. Get out of those weeds, dude. <clears throat> That's why you. Oh, he came off oh. right there. Gosh dang it. Oh. There's no way to get him out of these weeds. It probably, it did. It bent my hook completely out. Look at that. Yep. He had the bottom one. He it bent my hook completely out. Oh, yeah. got, the got, in the, got in those weeds. Dang it. That sucks. That was a big one. That was a four pounder. Yeah. Just There's like a weed line up there and you kind of bring it through it. And once you feel you're in the clear, like right now I'm in the clear, yeah. I'll sit here and just hold my line tight and just wait for the tick. And that's all I've been doing. There it is. There it is. What'd I just say? It's like clockwork. Stay out of those weeds this time. Come on. I don't think he's very big. Oh, he's decent. He's decent. Yep. It's like you got to bring him through the first layer of weeds, then just let your bait sit there. Got these fish so dialed in right now. It's unreal. Throw the plopper, and then throw him with the drop shot. Yes, sir. I ate the bottom, or I ate the top bait. <laughs> That's why I like throwing two lures. That last one was on the bottom. This one was on the top. You never know. And you also have the opportunity of catching two fish at once. Like that. Boom. Whoop. See you, buddy. There he is. Yep. Right outside those weeds. Every time. <laughs> this, is, this is getting too easy now. You guys see why Peric loves smallmouth fishing? It's because it's easy. <laughs> I'm just messing. This is fun. That's a better one, too. A little better. We're upgrading. Yep, he ate the, he ate the top drop shot. There we go. Whoop. Small one. We caught all the big ones, and now we're just cleaning up all the dinks. 20 minutes later. Just walked. I, I walked waist deep in the water. Here we go. Woo! I am back home. That was brutal. So cold, so wet, so windy. We left the lake and got off the water just at the right time when a big old storm came through and we were actually supposed to stay in South Dakota for another like day and a half. We ended up just coming home because the entire rest of the trip was going to be just thunderstorms, raining, cold, windy, you know, not really fun stuff. So I come here to where it's not as cold, not as windy, a little bit rainy, but not terrible. Um, so I can actually make some videos for you guys and not just sit here and get soaking wet and try to catch smallmouth, which was very, very fun fishing with my dad. Him and I haven't had a trip like that in so, so long. I've just been so busy. He's been so busy. Great time out on the water. I'm not going to take any more of you guys this time. If you guys like seeing the smallmouth videos, leave a like. Drop a comment down below. Let me know. What you want me to go after next? Smallmouth, largemouth, pike, musky, perch, iguanas, you know, whatever you guys want. Let me know. Thank you guys so much for watching. Pick up some ducks merch. Pick up some flare merch. Link down below. Always plug. Peace.